Huh. Well, time to boot up the... Right. How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So. We've actually got these to do. And holy crap, they're gonna take eight episodes. Ugh, fine. Yeah, let's begin. This all this is, is it just gonna be a slideshow? <sighs> what a great start. Okay, everyone. Okay. The literature club is starting. Let's all have a seat and take attendance, okay? Um, okay. <sighs> I miss debate club. Who knew it would be so difficult to start a new club? Um, actually, <laughs> I feel worse with every day that passes without anyone coming in. Is starting to lose confidence. Monica is the only member of the literature club. Okay, so apparently this takes place before Doki Doki. Okay. In the days that have passed, all of her efforts to recruit new members have been fruitless. Oof. Am I going about this the wrong way? Monica glances at one of her flyers. The headline is, Do You Like Literature? Wow. Maybe nobody is into literature enough to pick it over their own club interests. I can't just rely on people liking literature. I need to sell them on a vision. A, a vision. What kind of vision? Monica rests her head on her desk, deep in thought. But before she realizes it, the recent nights of staying up too late start to catch up to her. So quiet, and the noise of the air conditioner is soothing. Fair enough. I know that feeling. Um... Hello? Hi, Sayori. Suddenly, a voice causes Monica to snap awake. Uh, oh my gosh! I I'm so sorry. I never do this. <laughs> is this the nabbing club? No, this is... Monica pauses, suddenly embarrassed to admit that this is, in fact, the literature club. This is the Literature Club. Yay! I thought I got it wrong for a second. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm super sorry. I was like so unprofessional of me to do that. Don't apologize. I do it all the time. Oh. Um. Did I miss the club meeting or something? Where is everybody? Um, well, about that, this is everybody. Really? Just you? But we're getting more members. I'm working really hard on it. Hold on a second. If it's just you, that means I get to be vice president. What? Wait, Vice President? Um, what are your qualifications? Well, I'm better at napping than you. Wow. Burn! 
put, put a big B-U-R-N above her forehead because she just burned you, Monica. Maybe I should be president. Now you're just making fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, what was your name? Sayori. Okay, Sayori. I've been trying really, really hard on this club. I know you caught me at a weird time, but it's really disheartening to not be taken seriously, you know? I mean, when you fall asleep in the middle of a school building, what do you expect? I care so much about this. I just want to find other people who do too. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I do care, I promise. I have a hard time being serious, that's all. I didn't mean for it to hurt you. And I was joking about the vice president thing too. I make like a terrible vice president. I mean, I, I'm sure that... Monica tries to say something reassuring. But it's difficult when she still doesn't know much about Sayori. I'm sorry that this isn't like a real club yet. Would you still be interested in joining after I found a few m more members at least? Well, no. I want to join now! Okay then. Really? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Besides, I can tell how hard you've been working. You're doing something amazing and you should be proud of it, you know? So let me help you turn something stressful into something fun. If nothing else, I'm good at that, so... <laughs> Honestly, how could I possibly say no to that? I don't know. It's really sweet of you, Sayori. Oh, I'm Monica, by the way. Monica! That's such a cool name! Oh, now you're just b trying to cheer me up. But you're smiling! Well, I didn't say it didn't work. Monica glances at the flyer on her desk and realizes that her name is already written on it. So, what do we do first? Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? Actually, according to where my real time, it's actually pretty early. <laughs> we can go home and try to come up with some new ideas to recruit new club members. I can do that. Cool. And I think I need to put some more thought into my vision for the club. You know, like... A mission. My mission is to make everyone happy. Okay, Sayori. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I need to think about it. Hey, do you like hugs? Um, uh, what? <laughs> I, I guess so. Sayori suddenly pulls Monica into a friendly hug. Then let's go. Pause for a sec. Just hey, do you like it? I'm trying to. How would how would how, how would anyone feel? Hey, do you like hugs? <laughs> Just like randomly out of the blue. I mean, I like hugs, but if somebody did that, I'd be like... <laughs> Unless it was like, Amber or something, that's... Yeah, that'd pretty much be where my response would go. <laughs> um... Friendly Sayori, just pet her on the head and she won't get mad. <laughs> Some people can just really use a hug sometimes. Why? 
say? Besides... Sayori whispers loudly. Hawk energy is what keeps me at my best. Hawk energy. Alright then. Okay. Hawk <laughs> energy. Monica laughs. Although Sayori is very different from her, Monica feels her spirit lifted. Maybe it's just because she finally found another club member. But, well, I'm looking forward to tomorrow then. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited! Yay! I'm going, I'm gonna think really hard tonight about how to get more people. Yeah, me too. Okay. A day passes and the time comes for the literature club, Monica and Sayori, to reconvene. As president, Monica ensures that she's the first to arrive to the club room. But she finds herself waiting longer than expected for Sayori. It's been ten minutes already. Maybe Sayori changed her mind about joining? No, that can't be it. She was so excited yesterday, but I'm getting kind of worried. Suddenly, Sayori comes bounding through the door. In her hand, she's holding a sheet of paper. Sorry, I'm late. I'm here. It's okay. Welcome back. And... Hug time! Right? <laughs> Sayori spins over to Monica and <laughs> deposits the sheet onto Monica's desk. Oh, what's this? Take my hand. Take my hand. Take me forward. Take me to your dreamland. Caution me to watch my steps so I can't look back at my footprints. Climb the stairs ahead of me while I look up to you. The more I look forward, the more I look up, the more I can lend to you. If you can trust me to follow your pace, I'll trust you to set it. If you can trust me to lend you a smile, I'll trust you to return it. Take my hand, take me forward, take me to your dreamland. Wow. That is impressive, actually. Sayori, why can't you why couldn't you write these in the main? campaign instead of something that felt just super neutral hey this is really good you wrote this Sayori of course wait wait no that's the wrong side of the paper huh I wasn't ready to share that yet I'm so embarrassed Monica flips over the paper Written on the other side is a list of ideas for recruiting new club members. Oh, so this is what you meant to show me. But I'm curious now, do you write poetry often? I do, but <laughs> I'm sure I'm not anywhere near as good as you as it. Oh my gosh. As it as you are. <laughs> really? I'm actually terrible at writing poetry. And you started a literature club? That totally makes sense. I've never written anything I was happy with. Like, I always read it again a week after I write it, and I'm like, wow, this is so stupid. I don't know. It's like the dramatic version of me doesn't agree with the person I want myself to be. Or something like that. Aww, hug time! Oh, nope, never mind. <laughs> with Sayori, I'm just gonna assume it's always hug time now. 
You should have more confidence in yourself. You're the literature club president. <laughs> I guess you're not wrong. I need to like, I need to like set a good example or whatever. Hmm, you know, I can envision the club doing something like that. Doing what? You know, like sharing poems we write and stuff like that. Oh, yeah! I would love that! It's such a good way to learn about other people, you know? It's like we have so many emotions that we can't express to other people, usually. But you can when it's in a poem, right? Right? Yeah! I think that's helping me from a more cohesive vision for the club. So I'm glad you showed me. Well, even though it was by accident. Me too! I feel- I felt embarrassed at first, but now it feels kind of good that someone else read it. That didn't take too long. I'll try to show you more of them in the future. I love that. Oh, jeez. I'm getting distracted. Do you want to go over this recruitment brainstorm together? My brainstorm's so hot. What? Well, while your brain stormed so hard, mine farted so hard. Huh? <laughs> uh, okay. It was like a brain hurricane! What? My brain is a natural disaster! <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry, that's terrible. Anyway, let's take a look at the list. Make cupcakes. I was hungry, but it's a good idea. Idea? I got hiccups now. Isn't it? Um. Let me think about this. I mean, when will we have the chance to give people cupcakes? You know, like when they come into the club? What if we said we had free cupcakes on the filters? Did I just call the flyers filters? <laughs> Oops. I'm like, kind of worried that would bring in the wrong kinds of people, you know? Wrong kinds? People would come just for the cupcakes and then leave. Aw, nobody would do that. Now doesn't this sound familiar? <clears throat> Episode 1. That would be mean. Yeah, Sayori. But you know, I want to find people who are really into literature. Even if they don't know it yet. Let's see. The next thing on the list. Hunt for people reading books. First one, Natsuki. This one, Yuri. I don't think I get it. Going around the school and finding people who are reading books, you know? Like in the morning, or during lunch. Then we tell them to check out the literature club. Well, the problem with that is like, ah, uh, wouldn't most people reading books just be doing it for an assignment or something? Like, oh my gosh. How would we know if they're just reading for fun? Well, we could ask them. 
But then we'd be bothering people who are trying to do schoolwork. I didn't think about that part. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. You're coming up with a lot more things than I can. Oh, your next idea is to hand out flyers rather than just put them on walls. Um, well that one's a no-brainer. I definitely like to start doing that. I'm useful! <laughs> I never said you weren't. I just need to think. What would we tell people when handing them out? I don't want to just be like, join a literature club. I mean, that's what everyone else did. Let's figure out how we can be, we can better engage people. What if you told them about the club activities and stuff? What club activities? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be my job to come up with that, right? A vision for the club. Okay, Sayori, pretend you're a normal person for a second. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> no, like a random passerby who's getting a flyer. How would you react to the idea of a literature club? Mm, probably like... Literature is stupid. Hey. Are you making fun of my character? I'm joining the anime club. Yep. Yeah, she is. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking of a friend of mine. Yeah, okay. Blech. Okay, what if I said that we, like, do group reading and discuss it together? That's technically a book club. I would probably nap through that. That's you, Sayori. Yeah, that doesn't really sound fun to most people anyway. We need to really catch their interest, you know? Ugh. I know. Sayori hasn't given us a single hug since before. Getting kinda annoyed by it, right? This sucks. Why is this so hard? Monica, don't be sad. Hug time! Okay, well there it is, I guess. What do you like about literature, Sayori? Me? Well, kind of what I said about the poem earlier. I think it gives you the chance to express yourself. Yeah? Like, express yourself in ways you can't do normally do. When you're just doing your normal day and talking to your friends. I mean, we all have so many thoughts and feelings that we just don't get to share, you know? It's like, intimate. What? <laughs> um, I mean, that's a word for it, I guess. Yeah. How do we get that across to people? We could be like, express your true self. Be intimate with us! And the hugs weren't enough, Sayori. <laughs> um... I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, that's kind of... <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, Sayori. Wow. Okay, I always have to adjust my... There, now I can hear the music better. Oh my gosh! What? What is it? I forgot all my things in my classroom! Good job, Sayori. I must have gotten too excited and rushed here. <laughs> Silly me. Rushed? The work. Uh, never mind. Do you want to get your stuff then? I'll forget if I don't do it now. <laughs> well, I'll wait for you then. Okay, it'll only take a second. Sayori 
dashes out of the room, leaving Monica momentarily alone. <sighs> Monica sighs like that, except probably not as deep-throated. Don't take that the wrong way. She starts jotting her thoughts on a sheet of paper. Express yourself. Be who you want to be. Make new friends. Discover a new you. Discover your heart. No. Write your heart out. Uh, no. Write into your heart? Write the way into your heart. Join the literature club. Write the way into your heart. Now that line sounds familiar. Wow, that's lame. Monica! Oh, huh. You startled me. Sorry, but it's something important. On the way to my classroom, there was a girl reading a book. Reading a book? It's her and recruiter. Wait, are you sure she's not just doing homework? Quite frankly, even if this, if it's who I think it is, even if she was, I don't think it's that big a deal. I could tell she was really into it. Um, uh, well, I guess we could take a look. Monica grabs one of her flyers and stands up from her desk. Then, the two depart the classroom, with Sayori leading the way. Also, I love this remix of the song. This way! Wait, first, hug! <laughs> oh, Sayori, come on! Okay, just pet her head, make her purr, and she'll, she won't get mad. This isn't my job, but... Monica, you heard me, just do it, just do it. I only know this is true because my pink fox, my IRL pink fox, that's all I gotta say. You don't have to run. <sighs> Sayori leads Monica over to a particular classroom, then lowers her voice to a whisper. See in here! Monica peers through the window. Sure enough, there's a girl sitting alone, intently reading a book. I feel like a creep doing this. You should go inside and talk to her. Me? You're the president. I would probably scare her away. Okay. Fine. I'll do it. Monica takes a deep breath, then timidly enters the classroom. That was fast. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Why? What happened? Um, well, I entered the classroom, and she didn't even look up from her book. So I kind of just left the flyer on her desk and then walked out. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I don't think Monica thinks so, Sayori. But I'm sure she'll see it and want to join the club. I hope so. Shall we head back now? The two head back to the classroom. The club room. Actually, technically either or. Sayori feeling rather accomplished, and Monica still feeling a bit embarrassed by the encounter. That was the end of the sentence. Oops. Upon returning, Monica and Sayori resume their strategy meeting. They discuss various different kinds of recruitment tactics, from professional to silly. After going through Sayori's list, Sayori gives, gives Monica a big ol' hug. No? Oh. And with, Mo with Monica coming up with ideas of her own, the two end in a better spot than from where they began. Well, I would say today is pretty productive, wasn't it? 
Yeah! I think we're starting to print make progress! I can't wait to get some new members! Hey, what's this? Sayori peers at the sheet of paper Monica was jotting on earlier. Oh, don't mind that. I was just thinking to myself. Join the literature club. Write the way into your heart. That's so cute! <laughs> I thought it was a little overdramatic. But... Sayori pauses and thinks for a moment. You know... I don't think you give yourself enough credit. What? What do you mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like I can tell from talking to you today. It seems like you're always afraid of doing something wrong. That sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, but... Would you call yourself a perfectionist? Yeah, that's definitely me. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, I always have an idea in my head of how I want things to go. And it's like, I can't accept anything less than that. But I think in the end, it helps me try my hardest at everything. So I don't think that's bad. It's that bad. Like, with this literature club, we have such an opportunity to make it into exactly how we envision it. But it feels like we only have one shot at it. So I'm just really afraid of it deviating from that. The vision. What's the vision? It's... Monica pauses to think, then shakes her head to herself. She sighs. I don't know. I just want everyone to... Monica trails off. Smiling, Sayori taps her finger against the sheet of paper. She's probably doing that. Right the way into your heart. I think what you're trying to do is to make the club that you need the most out of anyone. Well, you're the one who knows yourself best, of course. But I'm here to help you. Isn't that how all clubs kind of start? A person who decides to come up with a club for the first time is doing it for the sake of what she just said? Monica returns Sayori's smile. I mean, when you think about it, Debate club, for example. It probably didn't start until someone who was very... who wanted to show their true self, and debating or, like, politics or something was probably the best way to do it. So, they put together that. It's probably the same with any other club as well. <sighs> Monica, re Monica returns Sayori's smile. Good time! How many times have I said that this episode? <laughs> Without Sayori saying it. It's sort of amazing how kind you are. We're really gonna make this the best club ever. Sayori nods, and the two remain silent for a moment, lost in thought. The only sound is the steady whisper of the air conditioner. And the only movement is the afternoon sunlight trickling its way in and out of the moving clouds. Sayori breaks the moment with a big yawn. <sighs> Time to go home? You tell me. You're the president. <laughs> in that case, today's meeting is officially over. I look forward to tomorrow. Me too. Sayori beams and grabs her things. You can go on ahead. I need a few minutes still. Oh, I can wait. That's alright. I just wanted some alone time. Mm, in that case... Sayori waves enthusiastically at Monica. Good luck! 
Monica smiles and waves in return as Sayori spins her way out of the club room. All alone, she sighs to herself and takes a moment to zone out. She wasn't prepared for the self-reflection encouraged by Sayori, but she decides it was something she probably needed right about now. The club that I need the most... I don't get it. I just wanted to start a club with more passion. Something that I could use to help lead people to happiness. Who sure is the key to that? Because it's the window to the real person inside of us. Underneath the person who's forced it to always smile and blend in. Um... That is too relatable for me. The person who's forced to be someone they're not. Perfect. Hmm? Monica suddenly notices a folder on the floor by her desk. Did Sayori leave this behind? I hope it doesn't have her homework in it. Worried, Monica opens the folder to check. Poems? It's a folder of poems. Become the flower. A feeling of joy is a flower plucked from the ground. The color, the scent, it's so pretty in my hair. Every day I pluck some flowers, as though they grew just for me. A lifetime of peace and nourishment, yanked away in an instant. All for me. All for joy. I need more. I need more joy. I need more happy. Pluck, pluck, pluck. Every day. Pluck, pluck, pluck. So pretty in my hair. Pluck, 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 you're going to die, and you too. Holy crap! That is much darker than your other one, Sayori. Beneath my feet, a flower stands alone. It beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots. Caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends? I look in every direction, the field I stand in, a prosperous field, is a barren wasteland, the fruits of my labor, the carnage of my joy. That is why I have decided I must become the flower. Okay then, that is a... <laughs> Sayori? Yep. New side story, trust part two, which we will get to next time. Um, what new pictures do we got? Apparently this. Did we not have that before? Mm -hmm. Got that. It's a game of fill in the blanks, pretty much. When did I get this? Hold on. Hold on. There once was a ladybug. It was so small, it took a really long time to crawl. From here to there, it was very... It was... Very tiring to fly for too long. Nobody squishes ladybugs because they're cute. Does that make them better than other bugs? Do ladybugs know they're cute? I think they're too preoccupied with bug things. And so the ladybug crawled around and did bug things. This story wasn't really going anywhere, but I know you don't mind. I hope you think it's nice for being there anyway. Like ladybugs. Like this ladybug. The one who clings like a doof. A doof? Okay. On your sleeve, because it knows you won't squash it. If it doesn't bug you, will you stay? Will you stay a while? Oh my gosh. 
the hell? Okay, we're gonna move back to this one. Okay. Well, that's interesting. When did I get that? Did we get any new backgrounds? Corridor. Sayori's bedroom. Already had that. Classroom one, classroom two. Closet where you see Natsuki. Classroom three, which apparently is different from classroom. Why are these different? Different time of day, that's why. Okay. Hmm. Okay, fun art. Oh, it looks like there's a lot to do. <laughs> Check, is there any? Nope, no new mail. None. Nada. Ugh. That sucks. Wait, there's. Hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna leave this here. We'll continue on to Trust Part 2 next time, but for now. Hug time! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe for you. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. We're getting to the plus part of it finally, right? If you like this video, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. And if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a visual novel you'd like me to do on here? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out what I've done prior to this? Click the link at the bottom right hand corner, try and take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this ride so far, I think there are about 15. Click the link across my head here, try and take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!